The chief executive of Lufthansa says he's seen a wave of optimism in recent weeks and expects a transatlantic travel bubble to be established in short order. I asked Karsten Spohr what's giving him this hope. We open up destinations wherever restrictions fall and the bookings just jump up. As a matter of fact, we'll be able this summer to offer the whole width of the network with all destinations which were offered in the past also being offered this summer. Less frequencies, smaller airplanes, but the destinations are available for our passengers. And how confident are you? What do you hear about the opening up of a transatlantic uh, corridor? It's, I mean, I heard what President van der Leyen said. I've heard what the U.S. has said. It begs the question, just get on with it and establish it. Well, I think the European Commission took a very important decision two weeks ago, recommending to its member states to be open for business, to be open for travelers from the U.S., for example, who are vaccinated and to allow them in. And more and more European countries actually are allowing them in. And we're just now two weeks away from the summit where President Biden will meet President Macron and Chancellor Merkel. And I think the three of them know about the importance of the transatlantic relationship and that makes me positive that we'll be hearing about an opening hopefully soon. I think it's important to say that the transatlantic market is not only one of the most and maybe the most important aviation market. It's also a lifeline that connects, you know, two areas which share values, which share history. Therefore, also for my country, Germany, um, it probably wouldn't exist the way it does without the U.S., and its support in the last decade. So I think it's important we open that lifeline again, not only on behalf of our industry, but for everything else which is built around it. For understandable reasons, the amount of coordination during the pandemic was woefully lacking between uh, airlines, governments, regulators, and I understand why. Everybody was actually dealing with the crisis. But are you satisfied now that regulators, governments and airlines are co- all the necessary participants are coordinating? I am not happy how things are evolving. I think we could be a lot faster. But nevertheless, we are accepting those offers in the markets for our passengers. So we have digital solutions in those countries where they are offered. We are working with IATA, our global organization, to offer something standardized eventually and the european commission indeed in record speed has agreed to offer something as of july 1st so things we all have joined probably the impatience which we have unfortunately been through in the last month and i think we're now catching up what more would you like to see well i think the one thing we now need is to agree on an international digital pass which proves that the passenger is either vaccinated or tested or has been through the infection. And that digital pass needs to be recognized initially, probably at least in Europe, at all countries, within the US, at all airports, and then we're working towards a global system after that. I think that is some of the realisms or realities of traveling in the future to have such a pass. It needs to be digital, not on paper. And that, I think, is the next big step besides the opening up itself, which is, of course, driven by restrictions restrictions being eased. 